Good afternoon and welcome back to your skincare videos. Today we're not actually going to be talking about skincare like I normally do. We're actually going to be talking about hand sanitizers. So with this pandemic situation who still has not really taken a break, it is important to continue to use really all the precautions as much as possible, which means requiring a face mask, uh, washing your hands, sanitizing your hands, sanitizing surfaces, doing all of these different things. But what becomes a little bit trickier is actually knowing if your sanitizer is safe for you. With all the products that came out as soon as the pandemic began, you're probably noticing that more and more of them are actually getting taken off of the market. Why are they getting taken off, taken off of the market? It's because of the type of alcohol that's used to manufacture them. So if you're using um, a technical alcohol, which is really what was used through a good portion of the early pandemic, the technical alcohol is a less expensive version of alcohol that could be used for sanitizers. However, more and more people are having to completely stop production of them because the alcohol is not very safe for your health or even for your skin. So what, we're what we are proposing for you is going to be the Alaska Sanitizer, which is made with a completely USP food grade and certified food grade alcohol. <laughs> and what it does is that, yes, it's gonna give you all the sanitizing effects that you wanna have, but it's still gonna help to give you all that protection that you need. So if you're using, uh, or actually if you've been anywhere over the past couple months, you're gonna notice that every single place that you walk into, whether it is a grocery store, a gas station, um, a pharmacy, anything like that, all of these places do require that you sanitize your hands before actually entering uh, the rest of the store and start your shopping and all that stuff. If you've noticed, a lot of these alcohols actually do smell um, not very good, <laughs> really. So if you notice when you put them on, it smells kind of like old yogurt or something like that. That's really the perfect example of the technical alcohol smell. When you're working with an alcohol that is going to be approved, you're not actually going to have that smell. So a typical food grade alcohol really does smell like regular alcohol. Happy early birthday, thank you very much. Um, so the food grade alcohol is going to be much safer for you. In the Alaska Sanitizer, which I have the two different uh, versions right behind me, we have the gel version and then we have the spray version. Really the difference between the two is going to be a question of preference, if you prefer something that has a more gel-like texture or if you prefer something that you can simply spray on. Now, a lot of people do prefer the spray because you feel like you're using much less, which it's true, um, but the gel is also a very, very great alternative to it. So this sanitizer is going to have all of the certifications that you wanna have. So that for those of you who are watching from Canada, we do have the NPN, we have the um, Health Canada approval and all of these different things. So that's really what you wanna search for in any sanitizer that you're purchasing, whether it's for personal use or for your business use. You wanna have in Canada, <clears throat> this little number right here. So the NPN, that kind of just assures you that the product is registered, yes, and that it's safe and that it is also not going to be removed from the market. So you can always refer yourself to the local government website to be to know if your product is actually registered or not. As I mentioned, a lot of the sanitizers, the, the sanitizers that had been made previously are getting taken off the market because they really just don't follow the standards and they strip everything from your hands or really any of the other areas that you're going to be using the sanitizer. So you have food grade alcohol, you have your aloe vera, so you have a ton of hydration and you also have a little eucalyptus inside to give you really nice smell, but again, without being a synthetic fragrance or anything like that. So opt for something that is safe for yourself. If you're in the US, we do also have the FDA approval for that. So for the businesses who are watching this, you can always contact us and we can provide you with that information to really reassure your clients that whatever products you're using is safe for everybody. So gel is one of the options or the other one is the spray. So both of them are going to be working with a 70% ethyl alcohol, as I mentioned, that is a food grade that comes from corn. It is locally sourced and it is a trusted source, but it's also an effective source. So make sure that you know what you're shopping for. And yes, you might be paying a little bit more for a sanitizer that is made with food grade alcohol. However, you are also going to get all the benefits from it. Remember the cheaper the sanitizer is, 
the more likely it's not actually registered and the more likely it doesn't actually contain the minimum requirement to actually have the protection. So according to the CDC, we were looking at a minimum of 60% ethyl alcohol to have the, um, the sanitizing or the disinfecting effects from it or 70% of isopropyl. So make sure you do your research and remember that it's not because the sanitizer is a little bit cheaper that it's going to be better. And these are the type of things that, especially in this time, we need to be investing a little bit more and we need to be doing a bit of research as well. So I don't believe that there are any other questions, but thank you everybody for watching and I will see you next week. Uh, you can tune in to the Nelly Diverse Facebook page and we're going to be talking about how to get rid of blackheads. So I will see you then.